Hello, my name is Ken Tittle, and I'm an endodontist in Pleasant Hill, California. And I wanted to go over uh, with you how we have been using comb beam computer tomography, or CBCT, in our endodontic practice now uh, since 2009. So it has many uses, uh, but this morning I just wanted to briefly introduce you to what comb beam CT is and how it can help diagnose uh, patients that may have been difficult without it. So comb beam CT is different from medical CT in that the energy created by the photon source comes out in a cone like we see here on the right versus medical CT, which is this flat plane. In medical CT, the patient is slowly fed through the machine and this generator goes around the source many times to make an image. Cone beam CT differs in that the energy source comes out in this round cone and the generator only goes around the patient one revolution or sometimes only half a revolution in order to make uh, the image and give the computer the information it needs to generate um, the volume for us. So this is what it looks like. We have the x-ray source that then um, illuminates the area uh, under study. And we have the sensor over on the other side that then transmits data to the computer for um, reconstruction. This is what our machine looks like. Um, and it uh, fits pretty easily in our office. And you just stand in it. And the machine rolls around your head like it would for a panographic x-ray, which many of uh, you probably have already had. So x-rays are wonderful tools. And what they are is a shadow of what um, is in the way of the beam. So everything that's here, the gums, the bone, uh, the enamel, the inside of the tooth, and the bone on the other side, all winds up as a shadow in the radiograph. And uh, we can see amazing things when we do that. It does have limitations. With CT, we can tell the computer to reconstruct just a very small area of this. So we can eliminate all the other interference from other things that might be in the way of the beam and cloud the diagnostic image that we need to see what's going on specifically with one area of a tooth. So with this, we can rotate the tooth and we can get a volume of the area, a voxel, as opposed to just a small two-dimensional area um, that would be a pixel. So this is an example of how we use it in our office. This patient uh, came in and she had had a bad toothache the week before and was placed on an antibiotic and now she was better, but there was still some underlying problem there. And her x-rays were normal. We look for dark areas around the ends of the roots on x-rays. And this is pretty much what we would expect to see in someone who wasn't having a toothache. We like to test teeth to see what's going on, but because of the age of this patient, the tests really were not useful. And as we take a look around, there's other things that could be. This is actually a little bit of periodontal bone loss, and this could be a problem back here that might have given her a toothache. We were suspicious of this tooth because it has a crown. We were suspicious of this tooth because it had some pins in it. But really, we were kind of stuck. And in the old days before cone beam CT, we would have said, gee, well, we're not really sure what's going on here, but we never want to do anything we don't need to do. So we'll have you back in a couple weeks and take a look. Or if your toothache comes back, please call us right away. Um, and that was all we could do before cone beam CT. Now, though, we can take uh, an image and we can get these different views. And in our normal x-ray, all of this bone would have wound up on the shadow on the sensor in our radiograph. So all of this bone shows up white on the x-ray, and it masks this area of darkness on the x-ray, uh, which indicates a chronic infection around her tooth. So with a very simple uh, scan of this area and being able to look at this, um, we were able to definitively tell her that, yes, you need a root canal treatment, on this one tooth, tooth number three, and that this should be very straightforward. In the old days, she would have gone away and this would have been sitting there causing her more infection and more bone loss. So this is just one uh, very easy way that I can show you how cone beam CT has changed our practice and allows us to give you better care.